Hello and happy Monday. Welcome back to another edition of Mr. Eric Reads with a special guest reader. Barry. Who? Barry. Who? Barry. That guy. Today we're going to read William Wadsworth retelling the story of Henny Penny. So, we know about Chicken Little and Henny Penny was one of her friends. I wonder if it's similar. Hmm. I guess you'll have to wait and find out here on Mr. Eric. And Mr. Bear Reads. Wink. <laughs> One day, Henny Penny wandered into the woods to search for nuts. A big acorn fell from a tree and hit her in her feathered head. Cut, 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 cut! Squawked poor Henny Penny. Go oh, goodness! The sky's a fallen, surely! I must go and tell the king! She thought he ought to know about it. So she hurried along, and in, the, and in a little while, she met Ducky Lucky. Quack, 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 called Ducky Lucky. Good morning, Henny Penny. What are you doing on this fine day? Oh dear me, Ducky Lucky, cried Henny Penny. I went to a place to gather nuts, and a piece of the sky fell on my feathered head. I was on my way to tell the king the skies are falling. Dreadful thing! Quack, quack! exclaimed Ducky Lucky. Do you mind if I come along with you? Not at all, said Henny Penny. We'll both go and tell the king. So they hurried along, and whom should they meet but Goosey Lucy? Hong, hong, hong! called out Goosey Lucy. Good morning, and where are you two going this fine day? Oh dear me, Goosey Lucy, cried Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny went into the woods to gather nuts, and a piece of the sky fell on her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the king the sky's pot fallen. Oh, what a dreadful thing, hung, oh, oh, hung, exclaimed Goosey Lucy. Do you mind if I come along with you? Not at all, said Ducky Lucky. All three of us can go and tell the king. Said Henny Penny. So they hurried along, and whom should they meet but Ganderlander? Squonk, 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 called Ganderlander. Good morning, and where are you three going on this fine day? Oh dear me, Ganderlander, cried Goosey Lucy. Henny Penny went into the woods to gather nuts, and a piece of the sky fell on her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the king the sky is falling. Oh dear, what a dreadful thing! Squonk, squonk, squonk! exclaimed Ganderlander. Do you mind if I come along with you? Not at all, said Goosey Lucy. All four of us will go and tell the king. So they hurried along, but whom shall they meet? But Turkey Lurker, gobble, 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 called Turkey Lurky, stretching out his long neck. Good morning, gobble, gobble, gobble. And where are you all going to this fine day? Oh, dear me, Turkey Lucky, cried Ganderlander. Henny Penny went into the woods to gather nuts, and a piece of the sky fell upon her feathered head. We're on our way to the king, the sky has fallen. What a dreadful thing! Gobble, gobble, gobble! exclaimed Turkey Lurkey. Do you mind if I come along? Not at all, said Ganderlander. All five of us will go and tell the king.
So they all hurried along, and whom should they meet but Foxy Loxy. Hey, good morning to you, my pretty friends, called Foxy Loxy, smiling slyly upon them all. Where are you five going in such a hurry on this here fine day? Mirror me, Foxy Loxy, cried Turkey Lucky. Henny Penny was in the woods, girl with a gather nuts, and a piece of the sky fell upon her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the king the skies have fallen. Oh, uh, what a dreadful thing that is, exclaimed Foxy Loxy. But he smiled as though it might not be such a dreadful thing after all. And uh, was Henny Penny standing near a big oak tree at the edge of the woods, may I ask? This, that's just the place, cried Henny Penny. I thought so, said Foxy Loxy. See, I was there yesterday, and I thought this guy looked rather weak. The king should know about it, but are you sure you are on his way, on the way to his palace? Turkey Lucky looked at Gander Lander. Gander Lander looked at Goosey Lucy. Goosey Lucy looked at Ducky Lucky. Ducky Lucky looked at Henny Penny. And Henny Penny shook her head. Ha! <laughs> well, <laughs> then I shall lead you to it, said Foxy Loxy. And he licked his lips hungrily. I can find the king's palace for you very easily. Just follow me and we'll all go and tell him the skies have fallen. So Foxy Loxy led the way. They all hurried along, and they soon came to a big hole that went beneath the roots of a tree. Now, this was really the door to Foxy Loxy's den, but he smiled and said, Now, this right here, this is a short way to the king's palace. I shall go in first, uh, and you must follow me one at a time. Then you will all be in the presence of the king to tell him that the skies have fallen. You trust them, Barrett? You trust the fox? No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Henny Penny and all her companions promised to do just what he said. So Foxy Loxy smiled slyly and went on to his burrow. There he waited, thinking of what a fine dinner Henny Penny and her friends would make. Henny Penny started to the big hole. Then all at once she remembered something. Oh, goodness me, she cried, stopping short. I have forgotten to lay my egg today. There are enough of you to go tell the king without me. Away went Handy Penny as fast as she could go. Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and Gander Lander and Turkey Lucky looked after her. Foxy Loxy knows the way to the king's palace, said Goosey Lucy. Let him tell the king the skies have fallen. I have work to do, and I must get back at once. Yeah, so much we, so much we, so much we. So all the others went and hurried away. Foxy Loxy, back in his den, in his dark den, waited hungrily for Henny Penny and her friends to come. But after a while, he began to wonder what could have happened. So he came out to look for them. And wasn't he a surprised and angry Foxy Loxy? He found them gone, every one of them. Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and Gander Lander and Turkey Lurkey. And thus, it was that sly Foxy Loxy who had to go without his fine dinner. And the king was never told that the sky was falling. The End. William Wadsworth's retelling of Henny Penny here on Mr. Eric. Mr. Berry. Hope you guys enjoyed this story. Hope you guys enjoy every story. Come back again tomorrow. We'll have another one for you. Barry, anything you want to say? Yep. Cool. You guys have a great night. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And as always, practice kindness in everything you do. Right, B? Yep. And wink. And wink. See you guys around.